Hey guys, happy day after Thanksgiving. I'm hoping that I'm going to get this uploaded today. It is Black Friday. I had wanted to do this video yesterday. Then it went, I had actually originally wanted to do it two days ago. And then when I couldn't get it done, I said, well, I'll record it yesterday, um, right after everyone left from Thanksgiving. And I didn't. So Thanksgiving for me was a, was um, pretty much an emotional day. You know, I had prepped the day before because I was hosting Thanksgiving. And even though the family was a lot smaller, um, there was still a lot of work that, you know, you, you put into Thanksgiving or any major holiday, I think, when you're hosting it. But I was kind of like really weirdly calm for me, knowing that I was going to have all these people over, you know, it was all family, but still you want things to be nice and done. And I live in an older home. I live in a small home. So there's not like, I can't set a big elaborate table and stuff like that. But, um, and that, and none of that even bothered me. You know, I was just, I was just looking forward to feel the embrace of my family. And it, it was actually the first major holiday since my mom had passed. So first major holiday being totally like an orphan in that sense, right? Without mom and dad and my brother being gone. So it was really surreal. It was kind of weird how I felt when I was prepping for it. And then when everyone came, I just had this sense of calm all day. A couple of times I was near tears when I was trying to, I, I make the gravy from the drippings or whatever of the turkey. And then I add, you know, a bullion to it and stuff like that. And I make it that way. It's the way my mother taught me. But all these years when my mom would come up for Thanksgiving, she would take the gravy base that I had made and make it into gravy. You know, she'd add some seasoning. She'd do this. She'd do her magic. And she would thicken it up perfect. So it was just a perfect gravy. So my sister was there. We were all there. And I was trying. I just froze. I just was like... I, I don't know how to do the gravy like my mom made the gravy. And that kind of like really just hit me. So my sister and I, we dabbled around with the cornstarch and all that. And anyways, it came out fine. But I, I just kept looking at everyone around the table. And I kept thinking, these are all the people my mom and dad made. Well, most of all the people that my mom and dad made. And they all have pieces of my mom and dad in them. They all the little bits of them. And and I thought, yeah, life ends, but it continues. And I and I looked at different versions of mom and dad in my grandkids, in my sister's kids, and my sister. I looked at all that and I said, these are all parts of my mom and dad still with me. And I just felt the most warmth come over me. It's so hard to explain. I felt the warmth come over me and I was like so excited about it. Just sitting there and just enjoying the day. So anyways, I had wanted to talk about, you know, all these awesome Black Friday sales and all these awesome Black Friday and Cyber Monday things and all of that stuff. But of course, here I am a little bit too late. You know, everyone has got their Black Friday uh, posts out and that's awesome. But... Um, there's a couple of just a couple of different things that that I had really wanted to mention, and one was, I mean, who if you're a woman, and even if you're a man, right, who doesn't like a little bling in your life, right? A little bit of sparkly jewelry. At least I do. I do love earrings. I do love jewelry in general. I do love it, and um, so I have over the course of the last I don't know three four years received pieces of jewelry that I received complimentary in exchange for review. The first company I think that reached out to me was Julia. And Julia had offered to send me a couple of pieces, I don't know, I want to say it was at least three years ago. And I said, I said, okay, this is the first one. So I picked a band that looks almost identical to my band that I have in my diamond. And I wanted to really see how does it hold out? So I have worn this and worn this and cleaned this and taken good care of this for a number of years now. And I haven't, I didn't clean it before I wore it. So you could see, 
I'm going to come up close. I'm hoping the camera focuses. There we go. So this was the very first Julia piece that I got. And it is almost a duplicate of my wedding band. So I got it and I said, this would be perfect for traveling. This would be perfect for me because sometimes you don't want to have your good jewelry, right? And I said, I'll be curious to see how long and how good it holds up. Well, I, I'll go back and look, but I think this, I think I've had this at least for two years, if not three. And it is held up beautifully and I have worn it a lot. Now, over the course of time, they've also sent me other pieces, some that I haven't been a fan of, you know, that are um, this one that I've, I've actually never really worn that much. Um, but they're cute, you know. Um, I think they're really cute. So they've sent that and... I still like Julia uh, a lot. I like their pieces a lot. I've probably had about maybe four or five different pieces from them. So they reached out again and said, would you like to pick another piece? And of course, I'm all over that. Why not, right? So in time, this is probably their biggest sale of the year. So if you are a, and I'll link it all below. Um, I'm not getting paid for this, but of course, you can have a discount. And I, the more you buy, obviously, using my link, the more potential I might have a other piece of jewelry offered to me. But you could have a 20% discount, Monica 20, um, until I think this this is going to be the normal discount. And it goes, I think, until December 6th. I will link that information below and also link their website. But they're having an amazing, amazing Black Friday sale until tomorrow, I believe, the 26th. So if you are looking at, let me just show you this one piece. Come on, pick up. Sometimes the camera takes forever to, and I know this is not looking good at all because I can see it's not focusing, but I'll superimpose um, when I opened this up and when I put this on. I absolutely love, love this ring. And it has, I mean, it's only, it's not like my other one where I've got two bands in there. This is just one piece. It has a center stone, then it has stones all around it, and then flush into the band. It is so pretty. I'm going to try it again. Let's see if I can do the black next to it. No, it's not going to pick up. But, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Anyways... They reached out to me and they said, would you like to try another piece? And I said, sure. So I went on and um, I just really love it. So I, this is probably the second piece of jewelry that I received from a jewelry company that I cut the tag off right away. If I don't get the tag off, it's kind of like, I'm like, you know, am I going to wear this, right? How, you know, how am I going to feel about it? But I absolutely, this one I wear all the time. You've seen me in many videos with this on. And then this is the one I just got. The other one I'm not a fan of. Uh, they also sent me one. I don't I think I never cut the tags off of it. Um, and I think it was because it was really too small for me. But it was just really very, very pretty. It's just too small. So the tag is still on. And it's not too small because they made a mistake. I think I made the mistake. So they sent me this and and I and it's pretty. It's just it's just too small. So anyways, if you are into jewelry and you want to take advantage of some of those super sales, go for it. It's amazing this time of year. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, go check out their website. Julie has some really pretty pretty pieces, especially for anyone that loves a little bit of bling which is what I absolutely love. The other thing I wanted to mention is that, and this this is for my, my friends that, you know, are into alternate hair, right? If you have hair thinning, uh, or you just want to switch up your look, or you want to give your bio hair a break and stop processing for a while, right? I ended up buying this off the clearance rack. And you know, oftentimes when you buy something off a clearance rack, you 
you just you can't return them and you just really don't know right you're, you're worried about what you're going to get so I bought this off the Clarence rack I got a really good deal on it uh, and right now almost any wig retailer is doing all sorts of Black Friday Cyber Monday sales amazing but if anyone is looking for a low density piece and I was really kind of afraid of this because it looked very flat because there's no permatease but um, this one is called Sunset by Ellen Villa and I have it in the shade Sand Multi Rooted and I tell you, for, for a Clarence piece, the only thing I did, and I have to do this on a lot of synthetic fibers, is you shake it loose and then I sprayed it with dry shampoo. Dry, um, dry you know, shampoo so that you could take down, because they are shinier. Now, you can soak this in cold water and you can take this, the shine down as well. I just didn't want to go through that. So I sprayed it with some uh, dry shampoo, hung it upside down, combed it, and then because I, and I'm still going to trim it, I'm playing with it. I have trimmed just a little bit of fringe around my face, which I kind of really like. So I got this on clearance and I had a coupon and I want to say it was, I had a credit. Um, I don't know, you know, I, I have to look. What did I spend? Maybe 40 some odd dollars on this wig. And this is an Ellen Villa. This is an expensive wig, but I just, I just want you to not be super afraid of, of you know, the Clarence racks, right? Because you, you never know. And yes, of course, you don't know if, what if it's not your color? What if it's not your style? Like if you look at the stock pictures of this wig, I was like going, no, uh-uh. But I kept reading it and I kept thinking it and I'm thinking I can maybe make it work because I wanted something super low density that I could wear that wasn't going to scream like I don't want to look like it just came out of the hairdressers, you know. So to me, this has worked out really super well. Anyways, I am probably wicked excited about this. In my last video, I told you that I was getting the Anira device, right? And I, and this, the one I have is the Precision. I don't have the Pro, which has the bigger head. I'm going to superimpose a video that I did. And I'm going to mute the sound because I'm going to talk while it's playing. I'm going to mute the sound even though it looks like I'm talking. But um, I set this up to demo this. And I'll probably show that video fully in a complete review. But I was so excited about trying this because I thought coupled with my red light therapy, it could make a big difference on my skin, especially on those troubled areas, which are my jowls. I wanted to see if I could really target those areas. So as you saw in the video, right, you have to have clean skin. You let it dry. Then you turn on the device, you power it on, and I had it on, on section two, number two. And then if you don't make contact, you can have a demo and you can hear the sound. If you don't make contact before you move, it's gonna make a really weird little long, longer sound. So you would, you're gonna treat each area till the point of that it gets like 40, I'm gonna call them pulses, I don't know if that's what it is. And you just go over and then when you're done, when you've successfully done 40 of them in your whatever area, so you start on say the outer corner of your eye and you go all the way around and you hit, you hit gently and all that. Then you go a little bit lower. It's okay if they overlap, go all the way back around. Then you can just go down to my nose. And then by the time I've done three, maybe four passes, of that, I'm going to hear the longer beep, which tells me that I've successfully treated that area, and then you can move off to another area. So I've been doing both my eyes, under eyes, trying to really target the crow's feet here. And then when I'm done that, then I come down from my, my uh, tip of my nose, where my uh, nasal lobia, my gels start, and I go down, and I kind of then go here and up, and I do that. I do those passes again till I get to the 40 pulses, let's say, and then I move on to a different area. I have been doing my upper lip, my smokers uh, wrinkles, and um, I've been doing that, and I think it takes me all of maybe five minutes to do this in the morning. 
So I was like so excited to get this. I think if you get the Pro, it's obviously going to cover a lot more areas. But with my red light therapy mask and this, to me, it's like a no-brainer. You know, it's a double a double dose of goodness for my skin. So um, sales going on like crazy. You can actually go to Current Body, and I'll have the link below because I use their hair helmet and for the hands. Um, you can go to Current Body because they also sell other products. They also have this on there and I believe it's their sale is 25% off. Um, I do have a direct link. If you go to my link, I'm not going to get commission on it. I'm too small for that, but um, I will get kudos, you know, because somebody actually followed the link. So, uh, and then you can also have the link directly to Nara. So I'll have both of them there. I love my, my red light mask that I wear, which is Candy Way. I'm going to link them. If you have a chance, um, an opportunity, and you really want to kind of slow down the aging process and you're willing to commit, most of these products you can put on payment plans, you know, and I'm thinking if I didn't have the money and I knew something was going to work for me, I would go on a payment plan, but that's me. That would be my decision. So I... You know, I go to the dermatologist on a regular basis. I've been going to the doctor. So, you know, I usually kind of run some of the stuff that I'm using by them. And I've been encouraged by them. So with Current Body, I'm doing the helmet for the hair regrowth. And I'm also doing another hair regrowth system that I talked about briefly. And I really like it. Um, I, I got this from a beauty a wig shop actually a local wig shop we talked about hair loss I'm going to actually try to interview her and really talk a little bit more about this but I've been using that system but then I, I put on the the um, the drops that you can put on and they're not oily which I really like and I do that after I've done the helmet on my hair and then when I wash my hair I do the whole nine yards and all that but the, so at the current body I have the helmet and I have the hand LED, which I have been doing, and um, you know, first I'm saying I'm not seeing a whole lot of difference, but I actually am seeing difference on my hands. So, but I'm also back in doing it more consistently, and uh, my hands take a beating. I'm very rough with my hands. I don't wear gloves and all that stuff. So, but yeah, I'm doing that, and then the candy way for the mask. So, I'm also going to be trying the. Um, is it the Gwee Stone or whatever? I, I can never pronounce that. You know, I've had like a jade roller and I've had another one. Just sort of depuffing myself, especially when you put it in the refrigerator and then you use it cold on your skin. It feels, feels really good. But anyways, I'm going to link all my Black Friday. Amazon, guys, if you've been on Amazon's Black Friday, I'll link theirs too. But Amazon's Black Friday, holy mackerel. Some of the sales that are going on are just absolutely phenomenal so I wanted to share those things tell you not to fear really if you're going through a reputable uh, wig retailer and you buy a clearance item don't worry about it you know um, of course if it's not a reputable retailer then maybe you should worry about it but yeah I absolutely I absolutely think this is I said to my husband I said what do you think of this one and he said to me, he said, I like it. He said, it looks good. I said, oh, would you go to dinner with me in this? And he had, and he paused. And I said, oh. And he said, yeah. He says, of course I would. He said, we'd just go through the drive through And then he laughed and laughed. And I got mad and walked out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he was serious or not. But anyways, um, I'm going to try to get this uploaded today just so you guys can check out some of these amazing sales if you want. And I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving, however you spent it. You know, I hope that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. For me, it was a day of reflection. Like I said in the beginning of the video, it was just really, it was really heavy. <laughs> it was really heavy. I don't, I don't know why the emotions were like that, but they were. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.